right. Um, I've been asked by a couple of folks about how to make a temperature sensor for your nitro to interface with the V-bar and how it's going to show um, the log um, on your V-bar touch. So uh, some people have trouble finding the sensor from Mikado uh, available at stores. So um, and they have a problem with breaking too easily. So um, I decided to make this video to to help out whomever is trying to um, make one. So what I have here is a uh, NTC meaning negative uh, thermal coefficient thermistor um, rated for five kilo ohms. You can get this at Amazon for about uh, for five of these for about um, uh, like 10 bucks or so. And then you're gonna need a one kilo ohm uh, resistor and you're gonna need one of these connectors that is of um, sort of like a spectrum type. So if you have a spectrum cable, you can, you can use that. Um, I bought this as a pack also on Amazon and I can post a link as well. Um, what you have here is exactly the order that is going to be on your V-Control, on your Neo, uh, which is, um, the voltage, the one, the, the high voltage uh, line, which is the red one, the, the ground black one and the yellow is the signal, okay? What you will need to do is pick one of the legs of your thermistor and put it with the ground. Then you get the signal wire, connect with the other uh, leg of the thermistor, and then you need to pull up the, put the resistor so it pulls up the voltage. Uh, you put the resistor between the signal and the voltage line, okay? So then now what I'm going to do is you need to make sure that it's on this port, the port that is closest to the connectors here. I have one already installed. I just made this new one to show you guys. Uh, so what you do is you plug into this first port. Sorry. You plug into this, to this first port. It's right there. Okay. Now I'm going to turn on my radio. So when you do that, you're going to see this, this temperature sensor here, Tens temperature signal, and there it's measuring this guy, it's showing 20 Celsius, okay? Now what I'm going to do is grab this other, sens this other temperature here to make sure that it's reasonably accurate. So I'm going to go, you can see there, 22 volt, 22 Celsius, got 21.1, 22.8, there's like 23 now, it's kind of 22.8, so it's pretty accurate, and then you can see also like if you grab it here, you're going to see the, voltage, the temperature raising, okay? Cool. So the other thing that I do is I, in order to install the, the, the heli, I use a metal piece of, of like sheet metal so I can wrap it and give it form. So then I can use it as a bracket and put it against the motor, against the engine. And then uh, I can hold this and zip tie to the frame of the helicopter, to the frame on the helicopter. And then you get a temperature sensor. Okay, so once you do that, um, you're gonna see that um, when you do your flight, you will have logs 
get that look. Let's see, let me pick one along here. Your logs are going to show your temperature, your RPM, then your temperature, then your throttle signal as well. This is very helpful for debugging. Okay, I hope this helps. Talk to you soon.